Right, welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to be talking about how you need to pack for your travels. I'm guessing if you're watching this video you're going to be going on some sort of journey. The main one people do is around Asia. I'm basing this off what I packed to Costa Rica when I went backpacking around Costa Rica. I'm going to be giving you some of my tips and pointers for backpacking around countries that are hot because most of the clothing that I've picked and items that I've picked have been based off traveling around hot countries. Firstly, you need a good bag. And this bag here is 30, 38 liters, which isn't actually a lot for backpacking. I like to keep it quite small so I don't take too much shit. I don't know, I'll put a link down below where you can buy that. Um, and what's good about it is it's got a side pocket so you're not doing the lucky dip, what people call it, where you're putting your hand in the top and just grabbing whatever you can get your hands on. It's got loads of different pockets. You've got a rain coat for it that goes over it. Once you arrive to your destinations, you'll realize that there are items that you've packed that you just don't need. One thing I would recommend doing is putting all your items that you're taking out in front of you and think to yourself, how desperately do I need to take this? Um, because it most likely will just be taking up space in your bag right at the bottom where you're probably never going to touch it or even use it. I pretty much, I know what I need to take and what I don't need to take because I think about it a lot. So I've seen a lot of people online say to try live out of your backpack for a week or two weeks and try point out what you didn't use and what you used a lot so you know exactly what to take. I've never done that but if that works you could give it a go, it could be a nice fun experiment. So as you can see I've got all my clothes right here in front of me all spaced out and uh, they're all folded. One of my best tips I would say is never pack your clothes folded. I know that sounds really stupid and I'm not going to say to just crump it. I've seen a lot of people use like these stuffing bags where it compresses them. I wouldn't even do that. Um, I think that can even be a waste of space as well. I'll show you my technique of packing and I would really recommend using this as it saves space and also allows you to put a lot more stuff that you want to take. For example, shoes, they take up quite a lot of space and jackets and toiletry bags. Talk about clothing as well, it's a big part of it. I like to take a lot of thin kind of sportswear, obviously Chelsea shirts. I'd recommend buying a Chelsea shirt because not only is it the best club in the world, but this kind of material where it's thin and almost workout gear is gonna save a lot of space in your bag as well. And also when it's hot, you don't wanna be wearing some big hoodie. I'll show you what I do and how I would pack that in my bag. So first off, I'd get my bag and I'd roll the inside. So they call this the, the I think they call it like the army, t the army roll. I don't know, don't, don't quote me on that, but that's what I've seen people call it. Maybe this is what they do in the army. So you've got about two inches to an inch um, inside out as well as the shirt, just normal. What I would then do is get my pants in there and then socks as well, just so I've got my pants, socks and a t-shirt all together. And then what I'd do is I'd fold the sleeves in and then fold them into the middle again fold that into the middle flip it upside down and you just want to roll it and really try and take as much like press it as much as you can and keep it tight as possible so when you get to this part you can wrap it around that inch I've probably did a bit too much there there you go, you've got that right there. It's a t-shirt, pants and socks, so that you're not doing the lucky dip where you're putting your hand at the bottom, just picking out whatever you can get, and it's all together. So you've got one day's worth of clothes there. Obviously, you need your trousers, but I don't think the trousers would fit in there, or shorts or whatever. So there you go, put that now in my bag. Like I mentioned, I've got a little side pocket here. I'll stash my t-shirts, pants and stuff right there in the corner. I'll then do that around 10 more times. So we'll do this probably about 10 more times with the rest of my clothes and then we'll put it all in and I'll show you how that looks in a bit and how much space we've saved. So now you can 
let's see. We've got six here, one in there, so that's a week's worth of washing. My favorite thing about it is I can just put my hand, I just put my hand in my bag, pull out, and I've got my clothes for the day like that. So I'm gonna put it all in the bag now to show you how it fits in. Obviously I haven't done the trousers yet, but I'm gonna do those separately because they don't really fit in well with the t-shirt. So yeah, we'll do that. And you've obviously got so much more space in there to fill. So I'm gonna do the same with the shorts. What I would do with these is same thing. Flip them inside out just a tiny bit at the top and then fold in half and then roll them up. All right. Now that's all in there, my clothes are all in there. I've still got so much space to put in things like my, God, that rain's really coming down. My uh, toiletries and my jacket, my shoes. So I normally take one pair of shoes and some flip flops. So obviously I'm gonna be wearing these, I won't pack them in, but I put my flip flops somewhere, stash them, because this bag, the best thing about it, it's got so many pockets. I've got a pocket literally in the secret one at the back, that's probably where I'd stash my, um, and my flip flops just because they're obviously thin and I'm not going to use them a crazy amount. So this is how everything fits when it's rolled. As you can see everything's kind of, some of it's a bit loose. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I haven't rolled it and <laughs> you'll see the big difference. Now I've just stuffed it all in. As you can see I can't even close the bag. That's how big the difference is. As you saw before I had still so much room to put other stuff in. I can just probably it's gonna make it's gonna take a lot of squeezing and compressing in order to get this closed but god i'm out of breath even doing it Whew. but that just shows that the rolling method is just so much easier to save space i've like i said before i've seen people use the compression bags and even then i don't think they help as much the thing is is not only what you pack or how you pack it, it's where you put it in your bag for example, I've got my toiletries bag. I'd probably put that somewhere at the top and somewhere accessible. Inside the hood, most bags will have a hood. That's where I put my toothbrush, just because I know it's there. Open it up, easy to get. And I would obviously use that two to three times a day. Um, top of the hood will also have a pocket. And that's where I'd put my first aid kit because in case of emergencies, I would really need to grab that quite quickly. And then at the bottom of my bag is where I would probably put some sort of bag to put all my dirty washing in. And you could also put something else you're gonna use a lot, a hat, put that at the top as well, because that's gonna be, you're gonna need that quite often as well. So obviously you can see Still quite a lot of room in my bag so now i'm going to grab my jacket i'm going to do the same rolling technique oh shit fuck that one up all right there's my jacket i'm going to put that at the top in case i need that quite urgently Oop, that's at the top toiletry bag also at the top. I would put my washing bag in here to keep it separated from the rest of my clothes so all my clothes don't smell like BO and all sorts of different shit it's gonna smell like. When I was looking for my bag, which bag to buy for my trip, I wanted a bag that had these pockets on the side here because I like to keep, keep things personal close to me. For those of you who know about my experience in Costa Rica being robbed, I now I'm very, I try to be very aware of my belongings because if you know that story, I wasn't very aware of where all my belongings were. So these pockets here is where I would put my phone or my wallet, just so when you put on the bag, you can see. Oh God. Phone, I can grab it very easily. And if anyone tried to steal it, I 
can feel them because it's right here. Um, grab my phone. I can look for directions, blah, blah, blah. And I can put it away nice and quickly. So that helps with the whole process of that. So other than that, when you're wearing your bag, make sure you get on with a good posture because a lot of the cheap ones on Amazon and stuff will probably not have as much back support as you may need. This has some amazing back support. Like I said, I'll leave in the description of where you can buy this bag. You can actually buy it on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. But the Osprey is, is a great company. I hope you found this video helpful and if you could subscribe, if you did find it helpful, that would be great. And um, yeah, let me know what you think of my method and let me hear your methods as well in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Go watch the other videos because they're good like this one.